In this video, I'm going to show you how to add EU to the Junk Mail Filters International Block Top Level Domain List. As you can see, I've got an email message here from an EU domain. It's in my inbox. To add the EU domain to the blocked list, you need to edit the registry. However, because adding top level domains to the list erases any that you added in the registry, you need to add any countries to the blocked list first. Plus, this allows Outlook to create the key for you so you don't have to add the key to the registry as well. If you're blocking some top level domains already, you can skip this step. Select the Junk e button, choose Junk Email Options, and then click on International. You'll notice the Email accounts display name is listed in the title bar. Click on block top level domain list and choose some domains. Click OK when you're finished selecting domains. Return to Outlook. If you have more than one email account in your profile in Outlook 2010 and 2013, each account will have their own junk email settings. You can open a message from the other account and select junk, junk email options. You'll notice the other account's name is in the title bar. Click International and then Block Top Level Domain List and select your domains. If you're not going to be blocking all of the e-domains, you can select one and then when you edit the registry, you just need to replace one letter. Select a couple more and click OK. Now that we're done in Outlook, we're going to open the Registry Editor. Press Windows key plus R and type RegEdit in the field. Press Enter. Find your Outlook profile. In the Edit menu, you go to Find. Type 001F0424. Press enter. This finds the first entry. This is the one we added the E's to. You can just backspace over one letter and replace it with a capital letter. If you're using this method, you need to do each letter one at a time. Press F3 to find our next account. On this one, we're going to type in the numbers. And they need to go in alphabetical order. We located the domain it goes before, so we're going to type 45005503B00, and that adds it to the list. You need to make sure you have a, the double zeros between each set of numbers. Now we'll return to Outlook. We're going to send a test message to see if it works. See, we've got messages in the junk folder, and they are from the EU domain. 